All right, kids, we're finally done with unit seven and can and can't and fathers and mothers and sisters and brothers. And now we're on to the next lesson, which will be body parts. But first, we have the phonics test of the day. So what does this say? Do you have it yet? All right, what's this word? Most important word? Right. The, what's this? Remember, we remember UT from last, last semester? Cut, cut. The cut is, and here's a new word, uh, huge, huge. The cut is huge. Yay. The cut is huge. All right. Onto the body parts. You can open your book to page 82. Page 82. All right. And now we have the body parts. So, <clears throat> what's number one? Right. Arms. 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 What's number two? Right, hands, hands, hands. What's number three? Right, fingers, fingers, fingers. What's number four? Right, legs. I'm not going to show you my legs. I'm definitely not going to show you my feet or toes. But legs, legs, legs is number four. Legs. What's number five? Right. Feet. 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 And what's number six? thingies on your feet, right? Toes, toes, toes. All right, what are these? Let's go over it in flashcard form. What are these? Right, arms, arms, arms. What are these? Right, hands, hands, hands. What are these? Right, fingers, fingers, fingers. What are these? Like these, right, legs, legs, legs. What are these? Right, feet, feet, feet. What are these? Right, toes, toes, toes. All right, so this is the form we're gonna learn. Turn to page 83. You say, I have, remember long, remember long, and short and big and small. Let me label those long or big and small, long and short. Okay, and so the form you say, I have, I have, like me, I have. So, What's number one? You would say, right, I have long arms. Repeat after me. I have long arms. I have long arms.
terms. Make sure you say the S on the end. All right, number two, what's number two? Right. I have small, what are these? No, these, right, hands. I have small hands. I have small hands. Okay, number three. What's number three? Right. I have short fingers. I have short fingers. I have short fingers. I have short fingers. All right, what about number four? What are these? All right, I have short legs. I have short legs. I have short legs. I have short legs. Okay, and what about number five? What's number five? Right. I have. I have big feet. I have big feet. I have big feet. I have big feet. All right, and what about number six? What are these? Right, they're toes. So we say, I have short toes. I have short toes. I have short toes. I have short toes. Or no, she says long, sorry. I have long toes. I have long toes. I have long toes. Okay, good. Open your books. We got two pages. Two pages for homework today, 78 and 79. So uh, for part A, you kind of follow a pattern. Arm, hand, arms, hands, arm. We go back to, is it arm or arm? Remember, one arm, two arms. So is it going to be hand or hands? It's going to be hand because hand matches arm. They're both singular. Number two, legs, toes, feet, legs, toes, and feet because it's a pattern. Legs, toes, feet, legs, toes, feet. Number three, hands, fingers, foot, toes, hand. And then what comes next, foot or fingers? Is hand, fingers, foot, toes, and a hand has, so it's like a hand has fingers, a foot has toes, and a hand has fingers, right, okay. Part B, you just write whatever body part it's pointing to, so long arms, long, what are these? Right, legs, long arms, long legs, etc. All right, and then you got to do page 79 as well. So, uh, I have short legs. Which one shows someone with short legs? 
this one does. So you're going to put the number one here. Okay. And then for part D, you just make I have sentences. I have short arms. I have small, what are these here? What, what's circled? What's circled is her feet. So you say, I have small feet. So do the same for these ones too. Number three, so you have to put like, I have long, what are those? You tell me, okay? But every sentence needs to be, I have, you know, adjective, noun. Okay. All right, kids. Good job. Make sure to submit your homework on time and I will see you later. Goodbye.